this video is made possible by the EA Creator Network. Hello fellow humans and welcome back to another video. My name is Tash and you're hanging out with me today while we play The Sims 4 for Rent. We are doing a build buy review. I haven't seen any of these items. I did just spend an hour recording a cast video which great wonderful uh look forward to that only don't because for some reason it didn't record i recorded my voice but it didn't record footage so i don't think you want a an audio recording on youtube of just my voice going oh look at the textures but you can't see any textures because i wasn't recording it Ugh, i'm so annoyed let's do it okay we are in Pomerang, the new world of which i've seen very little i can already tell you right now that it looks freaking beautiful just a quick look at the new world oh look at this bridge this is beautiful oh i love it here all right we're gonna go through and have a look at build by assets so roof sculptures let's have a look at that first we're going to filter by packs because i think it's easier to just see everything that we get by by doing that so we have a couple of items here solar water heaters okay oh oh uh, this is actually because this is why i like to get my reaction raw unfiltered <laughs> on camera because I haven't seen everything and I don't know about the pack. So really great integration with Eco Lifestyle here. And it looks like these are actually functional items. So, okay, so we have one that's just for looks. That's the other solar water heater. This one here is just to sit around and look cool. And then we have a functional one. This fully operational solar water heater. It's a perfect low maintenance option if you want warm water. And also to make water usage, utility usage more efficient, but only when the sun is out. That's great. I love that. And we have a spire. I'm just going to put a roof on. Oh! Oh, okay, look, we have some new roof trims. Wow, these are so pretty. Okay, and these come in a variety of different colors. Oh, oh my god. Oh, I love this. Why are these so pretty? Stop it immediately. These are so cute. Oh my god, I... dead dying deceased and then look at these it's so pretty i got distracted from roof items because of who i am as a person but safe to say i love these and i'm obsessed all right so i've got like a roof spire here which i guess goes like that that's cute I, I just i don't see myself using that very often i also don't see myself using this very often i just don't build these this style of house very often look at that such a nice little uh, architectural detail it's really pretty all the green oh i love it uh and then we've got the traditional tomarang slate roof i don't know how to use these i think it's like this i really love that that's so pretty so some really interesting architectural details that we're getting now let's just have a look at our freezers it's huge it looks like all the patterns are the same but just different colors spandrels and oh we have three new columns you know what i'm never mad about new columns let's have a look what i like about this is we can use this it'll be appropriate for houses built in this world with these assets and this pack but i think this is going to be really usable with other packs and other architectural styles and stuff as well so i'm keen to play around with this a little bit my only one complaint is it doesn't seem like we have a lot of matching wood textures because like the wood colors and stuff are quite different in some other packs so it would have been nice to have had a bit more of, a bit more variability uh with that so that it would match with other items but i mean i never expect that with this game so we take what we can get and then this one here this is actually really nice i think i can see myself using this one a bit more than some of the other ones that have um, a chunkier base to them because the the chunkiness is still not too chunky like that there i like that a lot i can see myself using that hoops all right so we also got some spandrels with what looks like stained yeah, stained glass, it says right there, doi. These are really pretty. It would be fun to mix and match this with some other packs and styles and stuff too. I can see this being a really fun one to play around with, especially in like a more medieval kind of style, but then also craftsman and things like that too. <gasps> Ooh, okay. I really like this one. 
I like how simple it is, but it also, it has some chunkiness to it. What I don't like is that it doesn't have wood textures, but otherwise, big hit. Let's have a look at stairs. One new set of stairs. Good to see that the textures are mostly matching, I think, throughout all of the assets that we've got going on here. I really like the visual style of these. They're very clean, very simple sort of thing I can see myself using a lot. What I uh, do want to test, which I'm not going to go into the wall because I don't want to go into wallpapers just yet, but I do want to test and see if we can have this style of stair without it being open underneath. I suspect the answer to that will be no, purely because the steps are open here. Okay, so we've got one pair of stairs, but we've got three new railings. I love this. You know why? Because it'll go with everything and it's really simple and neutral. This is the sort of thing that I want in all my builds all the time, always. Uh, the only thing, once again, I don't like. Where are our matching wood textures to other packs? There's not even a railing color that matches with these stairs. What's up with that? This is actually really pretty too. I like that they look like they have some thickness and weight to them, but they're not too chunky. And they also, they look intricate, but not too intricate. I like those a lot. So I can get matching rails for that. The Ian Tomorani twist railing. <gasps> Where have you been all my life? Wow. Oh, I like these. You know, I probably will only ever use it in black, but I dig it. Like, that's that's so pretty. All right, so we have some new fences. One. I love the gap underneath that fence. That's really pretty. We have a lot of new fences. Oh, okay. So these are a bit higher, and I think these are these can be used more for privacy screening. We've got a few different variations. I actually really like the black and white, but it looks like we've got some decent colors, some whites and pastels rays and things like that which is really good and then for this one you know i didn't think i would like this but i think i do i can't see myself using a lot of these pastel colors but that that's a me problem because that's the style of of this world and, and like this the architectural style of this part of the world all right so this fence this gate goes with this one this one can go with either of these but which one is it supposed to go with? Traditional Tomaran gate. Doesn't really say. All right, so I guess you can just do whatever you want. I actually think this looks nice on both of these. I think this one makes a little bit more sense along here. I actually really like that for a gate. This is really pretty. Really pretty. I like this a lot. I dislike that you're going to have to match root textures though. Whatever gate swatch you choose. So that's kind of annoying. This is really pretty too. Got a lot of those bright and busy patterns and stuff, which is really nice. Next thing we're going to look at, wallpaper. So we have painted patterns. Okay, so you can't, you can't do that. Uh, I'm sorry, hang on. Is that a new mailbox? Oh, we love to see it. There is a texture to this wallpaper. I don't know if this is a Tash PC thing or if it's what it's intended to be, but I like it. Now, let's just have a look at all our different patterns here. I'm really sorry that, like, my my reviews, I don't go through and, like, set everything up. It's all kind of a mess and higgledy-piggledy because I'm showing you as I'm seeing it for the first time. So, hopefully it's not too incohesive for you and you can still enjoy it. I do try my best though. I am never mad to get more stucco. I don't know how different this is and it's not something I'm going to explore in this video but I'm not sure how different the textures of this stucco are compared to stucco that we've gotten in previous packs but I would be interested to find out. I can see a texture on there. Ooh, the bright blue that's so nice and that soft blue is also really pretty. This is nice. We don't have any paneling like this so this is really good. I like that we are we obviously we get different orientations of the paneling. I really really like it. Flooring. You know what I'm always happy to get a new wood flooring and this one has a bit of a shine to it which is nice because we have a, quite a few wood floorings that are a bit uh that have a bit more of a matte finish to them i like the color swatches i'm complaining a lot about not getting matching wood textures because i think it's important to be able to mix and match any pack assets with existing things to be able to really explore your creativity <laughs> However, I do understand that maybe that's not the type of wood that they use in these worlds and that's why we don't get those. Wow! Oh. Oh, and we get quite a few patterns of this one. Yeah, I just like that the, like all the greens, for example, aren't together, but it looks like you can make bordered patterns by picking different tile pieces. So you'd want that to go there like that. Do you know what I mean? 
I don't know. You can make different patterns and it looks like the colors are all really pretty. Got some more mustard yellow. I've got the reds. Got some yeah blues the black actually i really like the black one that's really nice okay and then we've got another type of tile which is called the tomorani tile and it looks like this is going to be the same thing that's really cute so can you see that pattern there okay so you can make some fun patterns with that one too and i'm guessing this one is going to be the same but just with a different pattern these are all really nice they're really intricate and they're totally different to anything that we've well, not anything that we've got, but we don't have a ton of items like this. Uh, the difference with this one is it's a plain tile without the decorative edge pieces and whatnot. But it looks like a majority of these swatches are actually really cute. And I also like, like this for example, the black is more of a grey or a soft blue grey. So it will go really nicely in a bathroom or a kitchen floor without being too overwhelming. Sometimes the patterns are quite bright, opaque intense and they can be quite distracting i don't get this one at all i think i like it but i also think it's weird and i'm not sure how often i would use it and then we've got a standard brick which i actually love because why it's oh the moss it's neutral but it's also really pretty and oh we have some new foundations Ooh, all right hang on oh wow that's a lot of a lot of stilt thingies i don't know how much i like that let's have a look at all our doors looks like we've only got three three doors and they're only on short pack. usually in a pack like this we would get more than three doors so it looks like we've got three doors that are going to work really well for the style and architecture in this world uh, i love the glass up the top here i love the variety of bright colors but also like worn down colors here I love this grate with the key and then this one here which has some beautiful intricate detail and some gold inlay but also the it's got like glass with bars in front of it we don't have anything like this oh i love that one it's really pretty okay i like this a lot but we are getting a ton of windows apparently <laughs> all right let's check these out varying sizes i hate small windows i get why we're getting them but i hate small windows ah uh, i see a beautiful stained glass to go that matches with that door even without that door though this is a really beautiful piece we do get some neutrals which is great um, but we also get some really bright colors as well which is nice i love these sorts of windows it looks like we have some really nice swatches to some distressed ones that look like they, they've been there for a thousand years and some that look a bit newer and we got some shutters is there glass in these or are these open i can't tell it doesn't matter because i think these are beautiful lion's lotus window wow okay these are beautiful they're so intricate so pretty okay and we've got some open windows we have gotten windows like this in in the solani world with the island living pack however i really love that these match these shutters here they also you have some distressed versions but i really love the horizontal slats and they look really clean and i don't know they're just they're really beautiful to look at i love these i i can see myself using these like not in this world in other styles of build these are really pretty again they're kind of simple but also not we've got some different patterns we've got some distressed versions and some clean versions but we have matching windows in varying sizes too which is really nice beautiful this looks like a door but it actually the shutters match this and this as well really nicely i don't know how i feel i like this even with the size being a bit smaller however i don't know how i feel about the bottom here just sort of hanging in the middle of nowhere like it feels like it would need to be there like a mini door but it's not a door do you know what i mean why is my game being like this same with this one they feel like they're supposed to be doors how do they how does one use these i, don't, I feel like you can't use them just in the middle of a wall right pretty though Ooh, okay can you stop doing this game so we've got a similar version here same swatches very very beautiful a tall version of this window here 
which I'm so not mad at because I just think it's stunning. And I love also how it affords you privacy in here while still letting in light and air. Um, so we've got a tall version of these, which is great. I particularly love this window. And it's the same reason why I tend to love everything that I say that I love because it'll fit well with other assets. Tall version of the Lotus window, which is beautiful. Wow. Ooh, okay, so pretty. This is lovely. Okay, we've got a lot of really good windows. So we have one here that is open to the air. What I am particularly loving about these windows is that they seem to be coming in sets of different sizes and styles, but still the same thing. So you can use the same window type in, in the house, but you're not just, they all have variations. You're not just using the same window everywhere. You're using the same style of window but in a variety of shapes and sizes and i think that's really nice to have yeah i don't get these ones they're, i think they're really pretty i just ooh, i just don't get them because I, I don't know how to use them but they are really stunning so you know there's that and then we do get some taller height windows that will match with other ones fantastic and a taller one of these all right so we do get quite a lot of windows i love this one and we get one full height window there which you know what i'm not going to complain at that because it's better than none so we have some awnings really pretty i can see it being used for a variety of different things and this one will also work really nicely with other packs i particularly love the cutout shapes in this at the bottom of the scalloping it's really beautiful some more colors would have been nice but i'm not mad at it we've also got a what looks like like an air conditioning unit or something is that what it is yeah wall mounted air conditioning so i don't it's not functional oh i love that then we have a wider version of our awning which i assume is yeah all the same color swatches and then we have some ceramic awnings and stuff as well which is nice because we also have uh, i've deleted it now we had that fence gate that had the ceramic over it so it looks like you can even if you don't match like your roof tile to it you can match these so we've got that in a short and a long version very nice and we've also got some balcony style covers match uh kind of like the stair railings and stuff as well but they're really pretty very cute all right we also apparently have new outdoor water decor okay we've got a pool party float lounger that we can unlock and that's it all right and then we move over to the buy catalog buy mode let's do this we have a really beautiful new four poster bed i love four poster beds and i don't think we have many in this this is a really beautiful i love this mesh that we have going on back here absolutely beautiful but more more than anything i actually just love the shape and the cut of the wood it's very elegant and then just a sheer uh curtain draped over here that's really lovely i don't love all of the color swatches like this is it's so beige but that's beautiful even the blue is really nice the deep green the patterns on it and stuff are really nice too all right we've got a little the most uncomfortable stool ever <laughs> do you enjoy repositioning yourself hundreds of times only to find comfort a futile dream outside of your grasp well look no further as this stool will make you realize that standing is pretty great after all <laughs> oh i love that this is fantastic. I can see myself using that quite a lot, actually. The back, the back support is overrated. Rattan poof. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, the descriptions are sending me. Sit up straight, plant those legs, and flex that core. If you don't, you might fall. But that's what you want, isn't it, you little thrill seeker? Gosh, I love this in this team. This is really nice. I'm going to use this so often in so many different builds. Okay, and we've got a chair that matches the style of the bed with that mesh backing. Oh, that's really pretty. That maroon color with the dark wood. Oh, I like this one too. The indoor and outdoor plastic chair. <laughs> Life is plastic. It's fantastic. You can take it anywhere and it will never tear. The plastic is forever when oil comes together. It's fantastic. You can brush my hair. Ooh, white lily dining chair. I think the name of that um, bed was also white lily here. Yep. Right, so we've got a white lily set. Really nice. I love, I specifically love this. Very beautiful. Tranquil dining chair. 
Why are these- why have I lined these all up in different sp like why am I like this? I'm a monster. Can't be trusted. This is very pretty. This is the sort of thing- it's not my personal taste. I don't see myself using this. I will use this style a lot more. But it, it is beautiful. The cheese, <laughs> the cheese violence parcel. This famous store. I'm sorry. I don't normally go through and read all the descriptions, but I, I have to with some of these. This famous stool has made its way around the globe from world stage wrestling matches to your local dive bar. Its reinforced wooden le legs are sturdy enough to pack a punch, but also break on impact for dramatic effect. Oh, they have had so much fun choosing names and writing descriptions for these items so good white lily lavish so this does fit the theme very well and i also really like that swatch i just i don't know that this is a sort of sofa that i will reach for because personally like when i think of a sofa or a couch i want it to be cozy and comfortable when i sit on it so i very rarely place these uncomfortable looking ones but this is a really beautiful one and a tranquil bench that matches our chair over there again really lovely i'm more likely to use this outside than i am to use this like i might use that maybe on a patio or something but i doubt i would use it like for a living room or something i really like all the wood and um cushion options with this too i think they're really nice <gasps> we have a new kitchen counter set i feel so spoiled we've gotten so many great kitchen sets this year white lily island counter all right let's have a look so we've got an island counter uh, i also want to check out because often like with these counters if you click on the little cog over here you can change between automatic counter placement and on and off i have it set off because then i can pick what counter pieces i want to use so i'll have a look at the color swatches in a second but I just want to see what style of bits do we have. Oh, these are the island idiot. So we've got counters like this. We've also got an end counter like that. And a corner counter like this. Really, really nice. Ah, here we go. So I can see the details a bit better. The difficulty with the darker color swatches is it's sometimes hard to see all the details. I love that we have open shelving that has some items put in there. I love that we're, we're, we're mimicking this shutter situation that we have going on. Oh, I actually really like that too. Okay, I really like a lot of these swatches actually. All right, and then for our island counter, we've got the round counter, we've got the end. I, I don't, I still, I'm never gonna be okay with how they sit. Uh, I do wanna check if there are any slots over here. So we have several pieces that have what could be slots on them but we will need to check hopefully i don't forget we'll need to check that out later but they're all really beautiful and then we also have our upper cabinets as well uh, and again you click on the cog and we can get a variety of different styles here this is really a really pretty hutch i quite like it this is what we have for those so far all right then we have like a corner cabinet like this inner cabinet like this and we've got an end cabinet there too so we've got a variety of different styles again i'm gonna leave these up because i want to check and see um if we have slots that are usable but these are really pretty i like that these have that uh southeast asian feel to them but i also really like that these would go well in a variety of different worlds and styles i feel like i could use this in a more traditional home but i could also use it at home in solani as well for example um, and it wouldn't be out of place you know moving on we've got a square dining table so it's just a small dining table and a variety of wood swatches see i wish we had more of these wood tones and a lot of the like here we don't get that wood tone here why not Gimme! I hate that! It's so annoying! Uh, another one... This is not the white lily, this is, yeah, the tranquil. So this is the white lily, this is the tranquil. So we've got, again, we're keeping to those two sets. So a cleaner, more simple style, and then a more ornate style. Both of which are really pretty, but this one definitely more my personal vibe. Alright, and then we've got an end table. Very simple, really beautiful, and then a tranquil end table. So... I, don't, I didn't see a tranquil bed, so I don't know if we just got the one bed and we didn't get a tranquil one, but we seem to have tranquil in a bunch of other sets. Also, there's Mysterious Basket, Vegan Not Oil Lantern, a grill, uh, a pool party float lounger. All these things are unlockable items that we can get. Uh, tranquil coffee table, so that matches, and I think we just have our matching swatches. Another shelf 
you know what i feel like we can never have too many shelves really lovely colors here so that's nice oh a bathroom cabinet oh this is pretty so this is an item that we haven't really seen too many like this in in the game the color swatches are really nice the style is really nice and i love a little mirror with a hand towel here we have a vanity table so this one is called a bathroom cabinet this one's a vanity i don't know if they're considered the same type of item or if this functions like a dressing table or not all right we have a sink to go with the white lily set look at the intricacy of this bowl that's beautiful i love that baby's first chamber pot oh oh my god it's actually a potty that is so awesome wow i love that and then we've got our squat toilets so we've got like a, a an older grosser version uh and we have a more pristine modern clean new nice version these are great a uh, tiled shower wow this is beautiful that tile is everything oh i love this oh a hot tub Ooh. oh this is pretty oh i love this it looks like a like a like a like a hot spring or something this is so pretty i love this so much a jar for marbles i think marbles is a new kids activity Ooh, okay let's test here so we do have some usable slots because i don't have move objects on right now what about down here yep none there and we've got a little bit up here so we've got the golden ticket marbles game ring but using a ring or a mat this game is the same get together with neighborhood kids and play a game of marbles for fun or for keeps just be sure to bring your marbles that's really cute are there different variations oh there are super cute oh look at that it's a, i mean i hate kiwi fruit but it's a kiwi fruit oh i love that i especially just love the plain white chalk circle and of course we've got a bar. tranquil bar like, I get why, but also we don't need any more bars. I don't even use the ones we have. Oh, a new drinks tray. So I think this is actually a usable object because you can see on the picture, you can see the drinks, but here you can't. So Moonlight Market Craft Store. Oh, fun. There's no design tool for that one, but I'm assuming that that can be placed, that's already placed in the world and we can find it. We'll have to do some exploring when we start our Gen 3 of Rags Legacy. Burmese Samosa Soup, Tofu Pad Thai. So it's a vegan night market, dessert stall, and a rice to meet you night market. So I'm assuming that all of these can be found in the world, but I guess that's something we'll find out. Ooh, a hopscotch. Anyone else feel like it's such a dumb game? These are super cute though. Oh, just a plain chalk out. <gasps> the colored chalk outline. Oh gosh, these are, these are heckin' adorable. I wouldn't even know what ones I wanted to go with. Like, look how cute they are. A spirit house. By placing this ornate wonder on the corner of one's property, the subsequent flush of calm can enter even the rockiest of auras. Oh, fun. And it's functional off the grid. This is really beautiful. Would it be nice to have had some more, some more color options on that though? Uh, is this actually a oh okay electrical fuse box so this fully operational electric fuse box keeps the lights on most of the time sometimes it breaks uh when it works it'll make power usage more efficient place it in any resident shared space or rental unit to provide electricity to all and then we also have a water heater which i assume does the same exact thing it must be placed on the floor well i'm trying and it's not letting me that's fun what a fun detail and we have some more color swatches for that one actually i didn't check the electrical one yeah, cool. We got some color swatches for that too, and some look worse than others, which is always nice. Now we get on to my favorite part, plants. Now this one is called Bob the Plant, so we named it Bob. Hi, Bob. Hi, Bob. That's really cute. I love that it's in a, like a shiny ceramic pot too. Ooh, Birds of Paradise. I think this is the first Birds of Paradise we've had that aren't that are in like an actual pot. Oh, and I love that we're getting some neutral. Oh, these are beautiful, the ombres and the plain black and white perfect i love that unhatched eggs of paradise this is beautiful Ooh. okay so i love this it's beautiful and it looks like we've got some less ornate colors like this beautiful it is going to be hard to place in some areas though because of how wide it is but that's stunning 
I love that. These ornate ones work perfectly for the theme of the pack, but I do do really like that we got some neutral swatches there too. We fouled bricks, so you put a hole on your wall, whether this was through anger or madness, it's a statement, and that is the essence of art. Pouring your emotions into such a canvas demonstrates creativity and living in the present. So this pattern of behavior is illuminating a brighter future for you. <laughs> I love it that's so good oh listen i feel like we can never have enough of this stuff i did a haunted house build with me last year i think it was last year and we used a lot of the, these distressing elements to make the place look disgusting um, and run down oh it would have been nice to have had some of these these are great actually i didn't check do they come in no none of them have other colors but you know what? I don't I don't even care. Slumlord life, here I come. They're beautiful. This is the most beautiful thing we've gotten in this pack. Traditional tapestry. Absolutely stunning. I like that we have some more uh, geometric kind of patterns, but then we have some traditional wildlife and stuff too, which is really nice. Bar gallery. Wow, this is really pretty. Ooh, I love this. The white lily mirror. These are really lovely. Honestly, I don't see myself using them a whole lot, but I do really like them and they're beautifully made. Curtain rod. We've got curtains. Lovely. Let's get rid of this. All right. And then we also have some hanging curtains. I'll check out the swatches because I assume they're going to be the same on both. But they come in different lengths and they aren't with curtain rods. They're just uh, on their own. But really, this is really nice. And I love it because we don't have anything like that. The pattern is really nice, but I find it hard to work with busy patterns like that. I prefer to have neutrals with my curtains. I find I don't use patterns really at all. So having only four plain swatches is a bit disappointing. But it looks like they're actually... Is that a shadow or are they kind of sheer? I don't think they're sheer. I particularly like that colour swatch there. Not a huge fan of these ones. And then we've got some blue, red, black and white. I mean, I'd probably use the black or white mostly, but I just like that if you have a white curtain, you have to have the white rod, black curtain, black rod. I don't love that. Ah, oh, sign for cool, refreshing lemonade. Oh, nice. So we do have a variety of different signs here. For rent sign, get out. I love it. Really cute. That's adorable. Street side, stars, shade. Spend the evening under an umbrella that brings stars to you. All right, so this would be for the night market, I assume. Like I said, guys, I haven't actually looked up any of this information, so I don't I don't know anything about the pack because I like to be surprised, so. But this is great. I love this. And then you've got your bulbs underneath there. That's really pretty. A new gnome. <laughs> Nobody loves mushrooms like a gnome. He's, uh, he's seen some things. He needs to lay off the mushrooms. Oh, okay, cool. And we have a non-functional water heater, and I assume we would have the same for the fuse box, like one that just looks like that but isn't functional, so you can decorate it without having to repair it. Ah, I was literally just talking about dish racks and how I was so glad that we finally got a new dish rack with the kitchen uh, stuff pack that we got because the only one we've had for the longest time is the parenthood one, and now we have this one too. Oh, and I will use this one so I actually like this even more than the parenthood one. Oh, I love that. I'm going to use that all the time. Yeah, I don't know if these, are, if these are just a decorative item or if it's a um, actually functional item, but I think it's just decorative. Triangle wedge cushion. Oh, okay. I've never seen that before. It is cute though. Adora bubble. <gasps> no, not the bird jail. <laughs> Has your aviary friend been misbehaving lately? Or well, perhaps it's time for some corporal punishment in bird jail. What's the sentence? One night in peace and comfort because animals deserve our love. Wow. Well, that was a, a roller coaster of emotions. Basketballs. Is it a basket or a bowl? Maybe it's both. Or perhaps this is a whole new specimen altogether. Uh, I will use this a lot. I like that we have some uh, some of the colorways are with the like the leaves and some are without. So that's a really nice touch. Save the elephant's teapot. This is so cute. Is this actually a functional... Again, I feel like this is probably not a functional item, but it is heckin' adorable and I am here for it. A mortar and pestle. Yes! We need these sorts of things. Such All these little details that make a kitchen and a home feel like a home. This is just a ceramic decorative of vase or vase. I say vase. I don't know why I said vase first. I'm weird. These are beautiful. Look at the oxidizing on the copper there. That's really nice. Pretty. Oh, I love that. 
Oh, I'm going to use that one a lot. Oh, some new fruit baskets. Well, a new fruit basket. Calm down. With some... Well, look, it has some dragon fruit in, in it as well. Some melon. Oh, that's so pretty. I love it. Oh, a welcome mat. Let's all your guests know that they are, in fact, welcome at your home. Doesn't belong in my house. <laughs> this means you have to remove the mat to make them leave. The mat is all matty. I don't... I feel like there's a, a joke there that I don't get. I, I, is this actually like a functional item though? Belief in yourself mini rug. We can never have too many rugs. Beach vibes rug? Ooh, the texture on this is really nice. I don't know if we have a rug with that sort of texture. I, I can't see myself using these patterns a lot in like most of my Sims lives, but it is a beautiful rug. I think this is my favorite swatch oh and we got the belief in yourself in a large size as well nice see i feel like this is the first time we've gotten the same rug in different sizes or correct me if i'm wrong because i probably am but i'm so happy about that i really feel cozy and toasty just looking at this little radiator sure. all right so this is a classic and a chipped so we've got a new and an old but i don't it doesn't actually say if these items are like functional game items that you need to provide warmth for your tenants or not prevent wall sign Ooh, okay Ooh, we got some stuff like this in a pack years ago with like round it might have been the knitting one the knitting stuff pack these are really pretty though i will use that tons take your dang shoes off they say one can judge a sim by their shoes well that class of garbage doesn't fly here because shoes are not allowed we are dismantling this corrupt and sick world one shoe at a time. Listen, they have a lot of feelings and I'm here for it. Express yourself, you know? Security gate. Ooh. Originally, creators wanted to name this unimpenetrable security gate. However, Gary just had to bring up that the actual word was impenetrable. And that unimpenetrable would be that it was actually penetrable, which has the opposite intended meaning. <laughs> Oh, I love you, Gary. You're my you're my people. Is this is it just like a wall item or I don't know if this is a I don't think this is a functional item, but it's cute. I mean, it's not. It's ugly, but it's it's cute because it gives character and tells a story. You know. And then we've got one of these that is not a window. It's just a wall decoration that provides no light, but it does not go through to the other side, which is annoying because like it would it looks like it should, but then you have to try and figure out how to line it up. Some wall art. Oh wow, that's beautiful. That is stunning. Okay, yeah, there we go. We got our non-functional uh, fuse box. This is a really pretty decorative wall piece. And I like it a lot. Got a shop sign. Oh wow. It's huge. Okay. I, again, I don't know if any of this stuff is functional or not. Um, but I like it. It does add character, so that's good uh a shining tent of light okay cool so you can just put it over existing items and it's already lit up for you often i will use move objects and raise lights with nine to be able to get a lit pergola or tent or whatever and i don't have to for these and that's nice and i like it and it's really pretty too we've got a privacy screen here which is really beautiful i really like that and of course we have a back for the bar because why wouldn't we listen back for the bar makes sense i just don't think we needed a bar in this pack you feel what did i just read okay wow this stall has everything just look at those fresh fruits vegetables and is that meat you see but wait where is the cellar you can swear they were here just a moment ago pop your vision goes black and your ears burn what is happening to you? As you collect your bearings, you realize everything has got bigger, except for you. Cries scream out from around you, no doubt the accomplices to your suffering. The cellar is back, and they come right up to your box turned casket. What a fine specimen. You'll fetch a great price at the market. Those were the last words you heard before you provided nourishment to the customers. And so the cycle continues. <laughs> Got real dark real quick i don't know if this is actually a functional item but it does come in different color swatches and i also am low-key terrified to use it now because uh i'm going to be served to people now and it's are these functional 
I don't think so because it's got the thing around it. It's so cute though. Oh, I'm so keen to dig into this pack. We've got a little toy here. Time to accelerate and put an end to this game. Toddler's imagination. Very, very cute. I love that. And I think that comes in a variety of color swatches too, which it does. Very nice. All right, so we've got a, an entrance to the market in a variety of colors. So I guess we could build our own markets, I'm assuming. Ooh, I've got something kind of like this in my house. Uh, a beautiful tea light votive. This is really beautiful and I'm going to use this one all the time. All right, so now we have a couple of new lamps. Really pretty. I love that we're continuing. This matches in with that white lily theme, which is really nice. It's good that we're getting some cohesive themes. Uh, and then we've got a uh, tranquility, was it? I can't remember exactly. Porcelain lamp or hat. <laughs> Ooh, lovely. This is, I love because we don't have anything like this. We have a lot similar to this, so I'm not as keen on that one. Oh, that fish swallowed three lamps light bulbs oh wait what that's not a fish it's a light whoa <laughs> oh i love it it is really small though so you definitely don't want to use it on a build with like super high walls but i like it a lot that's really cool and we have nothing like this oh okay we do have different lengths so actually really like that you can have three different lengths together and it looks like a school of fish but i lantern a roof lantern this is really pretty i don't think this one has different heights though so you definitely don't want to use this on tall walls but that's so pretty oh i love that and then we have these lanterns these are lovely i can see myself using this quite a bit the patterns and colors are really beautiful and we do have some neutral versions too which is really nice uh okay so we have a wall lamp very simple but very fitting for the theme street light which is stunning Oh, I love this. It's so pretty. Festival of Lighting Lanterns. I don't know if this is a functional sign. Oh, but it does consume power. It's really pretty. I like that a lot. Oh, a new mini fridge. Can't go wrong with that. Oh, you can see inside. That's so cute. It has a glass door. Is it passive aggressive? You'll <laughs> be fighting more than ever. These descriptions are amazing. I can't, I don't have time to read them all out for you. But if you end up choosing to get this pack for yourself, please do yourself a favor and read the descriptions on these because they are so good. A kettle! Finally, rice cooker. That reminds me of a TikTok I watched last night. That was weird. Oh, and another electric kettle. That's great. We love to see it. Ooh, see, that's a pretty kettle. I love... <gasps> mm, the green. It's so good. I love it. Ooh, everything is better in thirds. Dishwasher. So we've got another dishwasher that doesn't take up a full cabinet space. So you get to keep some of the visual of the of whatever cabinet you put it into which is really nice and it's a different style than the one that we got in the kitchen uh stuff pack so i actually like just the plain simple one but yeah that's really nice said that food from the night market is the best so here's a way to make street eats right at home this cart shaped grill this is really nice um i'm not positive on this one but i think what was the hang on i need to oh okay quick treats grill yeah all right this and this item are actually pre-order bonuses as long as you you don't have to order it before the pack comes out but i think you have until you got like a month or two after the pack comes out and you can get these as a like as an extra bonus if you order before that period ends so you know i always think it's worth doing that because extra stuff although i think it's kind of stupid because like just just give it to us oh it is this one quick treats grill yeah so this one as well i think these are all pre-order bonuses this is a variety of mailboxes which is really nice i like this is really fun almost done we have a trash bin something you'd see out in the street that's really cool oh a white lily dresser a double dresser and taller dresser oh nice so oh, hang on i'll go over that in a minute wow this is beautiful Oh, I love that. And then we have the unrest room. <laughs> Escape from the wrath of your bowels and these sturdy bubbly toilets. You'll, you'll break before I will. <laughs> oh my god, I love it so much. These are really nice too. They fit into the world really nicely. Uh, yeah, that's great. Okay, I think that is everything other than the locked items. Let's, um, let's, let's talk about it. The, uh... The descriptions in this pack are sending me. They are so good. <laughs> so good. 
It brings me joy, Sims team. We're gonna write the descriptions for this. I love you and can we please be friends? Because amazing. <laughs> You'll break before they will. I have mixed opinions about this pack, like as far as build buy goes. Not in terms of the uh, the quality of the items, because I actually think the quality is really great. The items are well made. They don't look plasticky or untextured or anything like that. And I, I really have loved the look of every item that I've looked at in this pack so far. Some cons for me would be though that some of the wood items we get don't have swatches that match with each other in terms of different styles or with other items in previous packs which I understand why that's the case, but as someone who really enjoys mixing and matching and taking advantage of all of the different furniture in The Sims 4. I really like having matching wood swatches so or at least the same tones of wood in all the different items so that way you know I can use different styles and I can mix and match without it looking silly or not being able to find the, the right wood tones. That's a downside for me. I also did dislike that for example we got a tranquil coffee table and sofa but no dining chair or no armchair but we got a white lily armchair but no coffee table we got white lily dresses but no tranquil dresses for example that bothers me because it's like give us a set or don't give us a set i love the attention to and this is coming from someone who is not of that region or ethnicity so from what i can see it seems to be uh, doing a decent job of showing off the ethnicity of the Southeast Asian culture, um, which I really love, and I'm glad they've done that. So that's a positive, but just the sets mixing and matching, but not completing either one, it upsets me. Like, do one or do the other or do both. <laughs> like, please. Plants were beautiful. The kitchen set is beautiful. I really like the ability to dirty up the place with the extra decals and stuff for... Uh, making wall stains and things like that which is really good and the uh, spandrels and columns and all the windows are really beautiful. It is a little disappointing to get doors that were just for one wall height when we got windows for two wall heights and one for the tall wall height especially because we got sets of windows that worked really beautifully together in different styles and sizes and wall heights which is fantastic. I'm so happy about that and I think that was done really beautifully but then we didn't get the doors that really go with that. And I haven't played with the pack in terms of building or anything. This is just me looking at what we get and thinking about how I will use it. So maybe that won't be a problem when I use it. And I don't want superfluous items that we don't need. So it's a case of I just need to play with it and see what I think and how I like it. But regardless, I think that's my biggest issue. It's the consistency in terms of items in this pack seems to be a bit lacking but it is beautiful nonetheless i am going to enjoy playing with it a lot of it isn't my particular style that i will use when i am playing my own games or or whatever but if i'm doing something like rags to legacy and we're living in a certain world or that sort of thing um, i have some beautiful items that i can mix and match now and there's a few pieces that can be used interchangeably with different architectural and design styles and stuff so that is my opinion of the sims 4 for rent and i can't wait to dive in and actually play with the game a little bit and see what it's like and what i think we'll be playing rags to legacy gen 3 our air will be a landlord but it'll be fun so make sure you keep an eye out for that as well if you're interested and with all of that being said thank you all so much for hanging out with me today while we had a look at the sims 4 for rent build and buy items and as always i will see you in the next video <laughs>